Hey everyone, it's Dabacab here. Welcome to the very first episode of Top 10 Plays. We'll start things off nice and easy with Icy on Junkrats. He launches his rip tire, goes up around the sneaky top passage, comes behind the enemy team, drops on top of his Zeri ult for a sex tuple kill, and the game win. At number 9, we have Wolf on Genji. Now, what I appreciate about this play is just how smooth it is. He doesn't really make any mistakes. He makes some really smart decisions. So here he comes in behind the enemy team, goes above their heads so they can't see him coming. And so he's nice and safe in the air. He crouches to get closer range on the junk wrap. He gets spotted, gets some shurikens and deflects the grenade back into him, takes out the trap. Now he's going to go in behind the enemy lines with the Winston, try and take out that Mercy in the back, get some shurikens into her, confirms the kill, goes in for the Ana. Suddenly, both their healers are down. Now he's going to go in and try and help his team, goes in with the Zarya ult. The male comes out, he safely gets out of the way of that. Great idea, now he can save his Lucio from certain death. And now he's going to end this fight the same way he started, by denying that Junkrat. At number 8, we have Fluttershy Fame on Widowmaker. She is not very safe up top behind her. These two tracers are coming in for an easy kill. Gets one headshot, stops that, followed by a second headshot. Scopes in trying to find that Mercy. She's behind that little curtain thing, so waits for the headshot, gets that, puts some damage into Roadhog, eventually gets the kill on Roadhog too, and then kills the mate. Five kills. At number 7, we have a guy whose name I cannot pronounce on Hanzo. He starts off by dropping his ult on the enemy team. Good angling on that. He picks off a double, then a triple kill. Then McCree ult comes out, but he denies that with a headshot. Then he goes in for the Genji with a scatter arrow. At number 6, we have Zenith on Zarya. She is hanging out at the first choke point of Hanamura, building up her charge, both her shield charge and her ult charge. Suddenly the Ana ult comes out, she drops her ult, stops the Reinhardt and the Ana ult in their tracks, allows the team to quickly wipe up and stop what would have been a nasty push in its tracks. And the first of the top 5 plays is Tuck Packer on Zenyatta. Zenyatta is pushing up behind his team, getting ready to support. Suddenly ults come out, that's the Zarya ult, that's a May ult. Here comes a Reaper ult and a Roadhog ult. He saves basically his entire team from four ults. That is a, that's pretty impressive. Coming in at number four is Exotic Dose playing Anna. What makes this play so impressive is she doesn't even need the Reinhardt to get this play. She does this all on her own. The Reinhardt's basically just trying to catch up with her. Number three is Will E.M. on Farah. This fair is in an incredibly sticky situation. She is nowhere near the ledge and two people are trying to shoot her down. The diva comes out, tries to kill her, but falls to her death, kind of strangely. But still, this fair is running really low on charge. She manages to boop off the Lucio and then ults both to kill the Lucio and to give herself a chance for her jetpacks to refuel. Then she boosts up. Now that Genji's here trying to kill her, she manages to fend him off and miraculously, she survived. At number 2 is Hailfire808 playing McCree. Just look at these denies. Shoots the Hanzo. That's one ult denied. The Mercy ult comes out. Stops that. There's the Reaper ult. Stop. That's three ults he stopped. And the number one play this week is Taprones on Hanzo. Now pay attention at the top of the screen, it says defend objective B. He's supposed to defend the last point, but he is way behind enemy lines, guarding the spawn point as Hanzo. That is bold. He catches a soldier, they do ring around the Rosie a little bit, puts some arrows into Mercy, kills her. Here comes a soldier, that's a double kill behind enemy lines, a triple kill behind enemy lines. He's doing this by himself. Here comes the Anna, she wants some of this, they trade some shots, don't manage to get any shots into each other. But there's a kill on her. He is really low on health, that's four versus one kills. The, uh, they're starting to respawn now, the soldier's trying to find him, but nope, scatter arrow kills him. That's six kills by himself behind enemy lines. Hey guys, I boosted up my top 5 plays to top 10 to try and make them a little bit more popular. Obviously, these are twice as much work, so if you want to see more of these, please like and subscribe. I need to see a boost in numbers for me to continue this series. So other than that, uh, thanks for watching. Dabakab out.